A computer file is a document which is stored or saved on computer storage media such as a hard drive, CD, DVD, or flash drive. Much like a regular manila folder, an electronic folder is used to hold related files that have been grouped together. A folder may also contain other folders, known as subfolders. Folders are a great way to organize your files. For example, let's say you teach Bio 101 and Chem 102 during the fall semester. You can create a folder named Fall Semester, and in that folder you can create two other folders named Bio 101 and Chem 102. In those folders, you can organize all the files for your labs and lectures in separate folders. Organizing files this way makes them easy to find. Before discussing how to create a folder, let's go over the computer drive designations. You'll find the different drives when you go to the Start menu and open Computer. On Windows XP, it would be called My Computer. Think of each drive as simply a drawer where information is stored. The first drive you'll see is the hard disk drive, labeled with the letter C. This is storage space that is built into the computer. The next drives will be your removable disk drives, such as a CD or DVD drive or flash drive. Right now, you'll see that there is no drive for the flash drive. But as soon as I insert a flash drive into a USB slot of the computer, after a few seconds, it will appear. And here it is. If your computer is connected to a network, the last drives you'll see are the network drives. Folders can be created in any drive on your computer and also on the desktop. For this tutorial, we'll create a folder on a flash drive. Step one is to insert the flash drive. After you have inserted it, go to the Start menu and Computer and locate the flash drive. Next, double-click the drive to open it. Think of this as if you are opening a drawer. The next step is to right-click and select New Folder. Now you can name the folder. Make sure to give the folder a unique name. It's best to keep folder and file names as short as possible. If you make a mistake and decide to rename the folder, you can right-click the folder again and select Rename. Also, keep in mind that the following symbols should not be used. A colon, vertical bar, quotation mark, slash, backslash, question mark, and asterisk. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to move files into folders. I'm also going to show you the difference between copy and paste and cut and paste. When you copy and paste a file, the original file remains in the same location, but a copy of the file is placed in a new location. For example, I have a folder here that's empty called TLC. If I want to copy this file and put it in here, what you're going to do is right-click on the file, select copy, go to the folder, right-click, and select paste. 
Okay. As you could see, this file is still in the original location. And if I open up this folder, it's also in there as well. When you cut and paste the file, the file is removed from its original location and placed in a new location. For example, let's say I want to remove this file from here and just place it in here. What I'm going to do is right click on this file, select cut, go to the folder, right click, and select paste. Now as you can see, this file is no longer here. However, it is in the TLC folder. Another way to move files into a folder is to simply drag them. Now when you drag a file into a folder, it has the same effect as if you would cut and paste. For example, let's take this file here. I'm just going to click on it and drag it with, by holding the mouse key, the left mouse button down. And I'm going to just drop it into this folder. So as you can see, it's not here anymore. Um, however, it is in this folder. So that has the same effect as cut and paste. If you have a lot of files to move into folders, you don't have to select each one individually. In order to move multiple consecutive files, what you're going to do is select the first file, then hold down the shift key, and select the last file that you want. As you can see, all these files are now selected. Now you can go ahead and right click and then select either copy and paste or cut and paste. Now if you want to select non-consecutive files, you're going to do almost the same thing, but you're going to hold down the control key. When you click on files holding down the control key, you can select non-consecutive files, just like that. And when you're done, you can release the control key, right click, and then select either copy and paste or cut and paste. Deleting a file or folder is easy. To delete a file, simply right click on the file and choose delete. To delete a folder, you're going to do the same thing. Click on the folder, right click on the folder, and hit delete. Keep in mind that when you delete a folder, you're also deleting all the files that are inside that folder.